Order the following compounds from most reactive to least reactive in an SN1 reaction in methanol. The leaving group for each reaction is the same. Thus we are looking for the differences in the carbocation that is formed. For the first molecule, a secondary carbocation is formed. Second, a tertiary carbocation. Third, secondary, but more importantly, this is allylic. And for the fourth compound, a vanillic carbocation is formed. How does this relate to the rate of reaction? The rate of an SN1 reaction is related to the stability of the intermediates that are formed, since the more stable intermediates will go through a pathway that has a lower activation energy. A lower activation energy means that a larger fraction of the molecules will have enough energy to reach the transition state than a reaction with a large activation energy. The reaction with a lower activation energy will proceed at a faster rate. Now think about the stability of the carbocation. The most stable carbocation will be allylic because of the resonance stabilization, followed by tertiary, secondary, then primary because of hyperconjugation. The methyl carbocation will not form in a solution. The vanillic carbocation is very unstable because it is not resonance stabilized by the pi bond. Knowing this, you know the answer. The allylic alkyl halide 3 will be the fastest, followed by the tertiary alkyl halide 2, secondary 1, and the slowest or no reaction at all will be the vinyl bromide 4.